Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we will see how we can create a board view in a SharePoint list. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and to demonstrate today's video, I have created a brand new site with the name of Board. Let me open this site in a new tab. Okay friends, so now we are on our site, Board. Now I will go to Site Contents. And inside the Site Contents, I have one list with the name of Employee Data. Uh, let me open this list. Okay, so now we are on our list with the name of employee data. So friends, uh, whenever, as you know, in my previous video, you must have seen, whenever we create a brand new list, it created in uh, this format. Uh, by default, whenever you create a new list, uh, a title column, which is a single line of text column is always, uh, you know, created. Rest of the columns, it's uh, our choice to, you know, create. And if I will go to add column, you can see these are the multiple number of columns which we can, you know, uh, create. These are the types of columns. So on for demonstrating this video, I have entered, you know, I have created few columns. This is the name column. And as usual, I have used a single line of text for this column. Then we have a department. This is also a single line of text, though we can choose uh, like the, you know, the choice column as well for the department. Then I have entered the joining date, which is my date and time column. And uh, then we have a status column, which is obviously uh, my choice column. And then at last I have a column with the name of manager. And this is my people and group column. And uh, as you can see, this is the data of my, you know, organization. And uh, now I want to create a, you know, the board view of uh, this particular list. Okay, uh, so friends, now uh, to create a board view, uh, we have to just simply click on uh, this drop down menu. And here you will get an option of create new view. So if you will click on create new view, uh, first of all, you have to enter the name of the view. So I will give it a name board. Okay, I have given the name board view. In my one of the previous videos, you have seen I have created the calendar view. And uh, however, on this video, as a at the last, you will see the option to create a board view. By default, the view is created of the list. However, now we'll select to board. Now, as soon as you will select this option board, you will get an option of organize board by. So basically, if you will click on this drop down menu, it will give you the column name uh, using which you can, you know, organize the board view. So I will select this status. This is basically my choice column. And at last you have the option of visibility. So if you want to make this, uh, you know, the board view public for each and everyone, you can just check this box. However, if you want this board view to be, uh, you know, visible to you only, not the public view, you can just simply uncheck this box. After making all these selections, you, we have to just simply click on create. All right. So as soon as I have clicked on create, uh, as you can see, our board view is now created. You can see the data is now organized in this way in the board view and as of as you remember we have selected you know the column to organize was choice column so in the choice column we were getting the option of active and left these were two choices so the users those who are active their names are here and the users those who are left their names are here so that's how we can create a board view however you can still uh, customize these columns uh, for that, you just need to click on this board view and you can click on customize card. Once you will click on customize card, uh, here you can see if you don't want like uh, here, I don't think this title column is important. So I will just simply uncheck this and you can see it's gone. If you will again uncheck this title column is back again. So I will remove this title column and now a uh, manager can be at the last. However, the name should be at the top for that. What you need to do, you can just, uh, you know, drag this down and make it to the bottom. So now manager column is all the way to bottom. Similarly, you can, you know, make the changes as per your requirement. And you can just click on um, now after that, you can click on advanced. And if you want to, you know, edit this view in the, you know, advanced mode, you can use JSON and all, but I will not go um, in that that much detail as of now. So after, you know, making these sort of changes, we will just simply click on save and our view will be like this. Now there is one more interesting thing which you can, you know, do in the board view. Like uh, this employee is, is 
is as of now in the active state but uh, now say for example if uh, she will left the organization you can just simply click on it and just uh, you know drag it over here so now automatically the status will change of this you know employee to left now if anyone other user will join back you can just simply you know drag and drop to the active state now the status of this employee will be back to active so friends that's how you can create a board view uh, using the shape on list that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video